Hi, my name is Kevin, and I am from Vermont in the USA. And uh, my illness journey began almost exactly a year ago when um, I was overseas playing music, which I had waited two years to do because of the pandemic, and I caught COVID. And COVID um, was mild, but I became, um, I had a lot of insomnia and muscle pain and inability to exercise. And it was later diagnosed that I had Lyme disease that was probably released by COVID. And uh, so then I realized I'm fighting two different things. And um, so I tried a bunch of, I saw all kinds of doctors and um, nobody had any answers. And I did treatments that didn't work. And, um, and then I, I discovered I lived in a moldy house and I had to leave the house and go stay in a cabin like a hermit and make my own fires and my own food while my wife was helping to remediate the house. And I was really at the bottom uh, of just feeling horrible, no energy, and I, um, I did have some internet, and I discovered in one of my desperate searches the book by Michelle Slater that detailed her experience with Dr. Filanoff in Siberia, um, called Starry to Heal in Siberia, and just like she had discovered a late in a late night Google search, Dr. Filanoff, I discovered her book, which gave me a lot of hope that I could perhaps tackle all the things that I'm fighting against with dry fasting. So I, I contacted um, Svetlana and Dr. Filanoff. I had a, a consultation and I proceeded to do the 21 day program, which was um, phenomenal. And um, I did a two day water fast, a one day dry fast, a two day dry fast, a four day dry fast. And then I felt that I was ready to come to Montenegro. And uh, upon arriving here, I was uh, overwhelmed by the community and the good feeling, and I, I knew that I had made the right decision. And um, I am right now on day three of my dry fast. And I've already had some ups and downs, um, but mostly ups. Um, I'm thirsty. Um, I'm feeling very dry. And um, I meditate a lot. And one of the meditations that is helpful for me is to um, play music as a form of meditation. So um, as far as I can make it, I will play a few seconds of whatever tune seems to feel like the mood that I'm in at the moment. So here goes. Not filming yet. <laughs> okay. So today is day four, and uh, it's a little bit worse today. A uh, very dry day for me. Um, but I've done everything. I went, I went to uh, got my um, uh, little injections in my back, which was fine, and I got my bee sting, and I think that made me feel a little better. Did my walks. Um, last night, my my wife, uh, since we have kids that are growing, she's got more time on her hands, and she was learning guitar, relearning guitar, 30 years later, and she um, she played a song that was related to our wedding. And um, it made me very, I'm not a crier, but it made me very emotional. And I had one tear come from each of my eyes. I was like, I can't spare that Luca. <laughs> so I took the tears and I put them on my tongue. <laughs> and I don't think that satisfies, you know, breaking the fast. Because those are my memories and my memories come back into my body. I don't let them go. Anyway, so I didn't know this tune on the whistle. Um, I never played on the whistle, I played 
many others, so this is what it is. Day three of the retreat and day five of my fast, and uh, it began great. I had a very vigorous back massage and um, cupping and uh, bee stings, and um, it all felt great to me. Um, so I went out on a, a vigorous walk and uh, took a route that I had never taken before, and it turned into a extremely long walk, longer than I bargained for, and uh, I got very hot, and uh, so I came back, and and um, Svetlana and uh, Daniela were, were very kind when I asked for some ice to put on my liver and belly area, which felt very good, and um, so it was not a bad day. I'm very parched, but um, uh, spirit is good, and um, so, uh, I, you know, regarding this, my, um, I, it reminded me that um, when my wife was having our first child, she, um, she didn't want any drugs. She wanted to do a natural childbirth. I went to the natural childbirth part of the hospital, and um, she was in a lot of pain and went on a long time. She said, no, no, you, you can give me the drugs. You can give me the drugs after all. I said, no, no, it's too late. <laughs> So she went through with it, but I was there with my whistle because I was just learning whistle. And so I played for her um, a piece that was called the Women's Lament in Battle, which I thought was very appropriate. And um, she was like, get it out of here. <laughs> and for years later, when I was practicing, she would close the door. So I don't think it represented a lot of good memories for her. And yet maybe it helped a little. Anyway, this is it or a part of it. Today is day four of the retreat and day six for me. Um, today I got a wonderful um, liver massage again and cupping and three more bee stings, which actually felt, felt really good. And, um, and uh, I was thinking um, that I I'm a, I'm a mountain climber, believe it or not, and um, a year ago I was climbing mountains. I've been climbing them all my life. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a filmmaker, and I would carry a camera and tripod 50 pounds up a mountain, thousands of feet. Um, and I can't do that any at this point. And then I think about how thirsty I am. And when I was driving to the airport, I was stuffing watermelon in my mouth because it was the last thing I was going to be able to eat. But I wasn't enjoying it. Um, and, I, and, I, and I realized that um, this is about enjoying my life again. And it's about getting my vitality back because I'm not happy feeling like this. I want to feel as vital as I can at the age that I am, which is pretty darn vital when I'm in, in health. And um, so that's helping me stave off the desire to drink uh, day by day, um, because I realize as soon as I drink, 
uh, it'll be over and I'll have drunk and I'll have missed the opportunity to heal even more, which is the period that I'm entering in right now. And I really want to heal because I really want my life back. And so every time I'm thirsty, I say I love my life. And that's, that's more important than a couple of days not drinking. Okay. This, of course. Hi, this is day five of the retreat, day seven of my dry fast, and um, I had a great neck massage from Anastasia this morning, and uh, I was very tight. I knew my neck was tight, but it was tight. So after that, I went to the did the walk to the retaining wall where the fresh water comes into the ocean, uh, where we originally did a meditation when we started our fast, and I looked at the sky for a long time, and then I looked at the waves. I don't think I've ever enjoyed looking at waves as intently as I did then, just where they begin, where they end, how they form, how they pull back. Um, I, I loved it. I felt like I could do it for hours and hours more. Anyway, so that was yesterday. Okay, this is day six of the retreat and day eight of my dry fast. Um, I had a leg massage this morning and cupping, and I accepted a couple more bee stings on my liver and uh, felt okay. And then um, I decided to do the ice dousing um, out on the beach with help, and I felt like a little baby. After that, I felt so good, but my heart rate has gone up, um, so uh, we'll see how it goes. I, I don't think I'll do another one until I break the fast. Um, and that's it. I feel good. Today is day seven of the retreat, and it is my day nine of uh, the dry fast. Um, I had a wonderful liver massage this morning and cupping. So after that, I'm not sure what I did. Everything I do, my heart rate goes boom, 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 boom. I stand up to look at the sky, my heart rate goes away. So I just am taking it. I just spend time in bed listening to Mozart, and uh, that's it, almost there. This is 
eighth day of the retreat and my first day of exit. And um, at 5 a.m., uh, me and another person broke our fast and um, I felt life coming back into my body. And um, <laughs> I slept all day. I've been sleeping and sleeping and it's been wonderful sleep. And um, and I also this morning I had the honey massage and uh, worked on my liver. I get the sense that Dr. Filanoff feels like the liver stuff is not fully resolved, but um, but I'm making my way toward it. And uh, I am not playing my whistle. My whistle is my friend. It's helped me, but it's also been my crutch. So maybe in the coming days I'll play my whistle again, but I'm happy not to now. Um, it's much more simple. Hi, it's day nine of the retreat and the second day of breaking fast. And um, I felt great energy, and although I've gotten a lot of good sleep and um, had a good neck massage this morning, I had an amazing lecture about what to do when you get home, which I was eager to hear. Um, and uh, I'm feeling very good. Um, and the whole journey of coming here is, is, I feel like I really did the right thing. It was a very crazy, crazy idea to me to come and do this. And uh, many times I wavered and thought that I couldn't do it. Um, but the idea of trusting your body to heal yourself is something that is not, uh, it's not an idea that you find, not, certainly not in the United States or, or, you know, very limited areas in the United States. Mostly they, they say, oh, your body is weak. We need to give you this. We need to give you that because you're weak and you are needy. And um, Dr. Filanoff and Svetlana and the whole team, they're just, at times they're, they are harsh. <laughs> you come and they are harsh. They want you to do your own, you know, sheet when you get your session done. And... Uh, and you're not coming from the West. You're like, oh no, I think people should do things for me because I'm sick. But uh, no, from the very start, they are saying you are strong. Your body is strong. Just take things away and let your body do it. And um, that's what I felt. And uh, you know, I don't know yet how long this will take. Um, but I'm feeling good feelings already um, for my symptoms. And, um, you know, I may take another dry fast in two months. Um, and I'm prepared to do that um, because I'm, I'm just very excited that it's been the right thing to do. Hi, this is day 10 of the retreat and my third day of exit. And I had a, um, a lot more energy today. And... Uh, I um, had a wonderful um, back massage. It wasn't wonderful. It hurt a lot, but a back massage, um, which ended up being wonderful in the end. Um, and then cupping and then um, leeches applied for the first time, which I did not, um, I was not going to do before I came, but after hearing it explained and the safety of it explained to me in the lecture, in one of the lecture a few days ago, I was, I was, my fears were set aside and uh, I'm glad I did it. And uh, so that's, that's that. And I, um, you know, thinking back on um, my mindset um, before coming, um, yeah, I was, in, I was incredibly doubtful and worried that I was making a mistake or doing something incredibly um, <laughs> wrong but um, after you know really reading up and and watching um, some of the previous participants from earlier retreats um, I realized 
I'm either going to do it fully or I'm not going to do it because I can't come here and, and be doubting when I'm doing it because actually that, that doubt in itself would be uh, an impediment to healing. So I just said, um, and I'm a very skeptical person usually, but I said, I'm just going to let go of the doubt and I'm going to trust this, that this works. And, um, and so far it feels like it, it's working. We'll see. Um, and now I'll play this. <laughs> Hi, it's day 11 of the retreat, and it's day four of my having broken the fast on my four-day exit. And um, I had a really good day, a lot of energy, and I did, went for a walk, long walk, fairly long walk. And um, uh, I had a great um, leg massage and cupping and um, got my rid of my leeches um, patch and um, so it was a good day and um, caught up and talked and chatted with a lot of people and um, I'm also looking forward to you know I don't I'm probably not out of the woods with this condition and so I will probably plan to do the dry fast on my own within two months as recommended and um, yet with a lot of confidence because of what I've learned um, not as scary as it was um, and yet when I'm talking to people about dry fasting um, I would just say look at the alternative and look at what you've been doing and actually in terms of time it's not very much time whereas most treatments that I I have experienced over the past year have been involved months and you know let's late let's see and let's keep adding stuff to your body to see how it responds and it's like throwing spaghetti at the wall nobody knows exactly what they're doing and you're being experimented on um and in this instance it's your own experiment it's your experiment with yourself um and uh maybe it'll it it may not work, but I'm pretty confident that of all the things that I could try, it's probably the best that I've tried so far. And I'm already feeling pretty good. Um, and it's only been four days. So that's that. So this is the last day of the retreat and it's my fifth day of exit and um, I, uh, I'm i having my treatment later today so don't have anything to report on that but we had a wonderful last lecture, picture on the beach, wonderful breakfast, um, a little sad to be seeing people go um, and I'm mostly just grateful for Svetlana. Dr. Filanov for primarily for Nastia because she was the one who worked on me most and a little bit Olga and um, for Daniela for marching around doing miles and miles and miles of marching around every day to help everyone um, I think I uh, I think we are you know humans are strong we we made it millions of years till now <laughs> so to re remember that that we have a strength is 
probably the biggest lesson. And uh, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good and I'll keep going. And this is the last one.